Hey, I'm in my room here to do a godly play story. First, I wanted to sing the doxology that you can sing with me. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. Praise God above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Hey, so I'm going to tell uh, a story. I'm going to put you so you can see the story and not me, okay? How's that? Ooh. <laughs> okay. So, this is a parable box. Parable is a story that was told to you before you were born. A parable is gold because it is as precious as gold, so valuable, and it looks old because parables are very old. They were given to you before you were born. And a parable has a lid because sometimes it's hard to get into a parable. Sometimes you can't get into it at all. And we just don't know. But it's always here for us. It was made for you. So I'm going to open up this parable and see what we have. So, the first thing we have is green. It's so big and so green. I wonder what it could be so big and green. All right, I have this like a piece of the sky. I have these. They're very dark. They're like shadows or holes or dark places. And then I have a, a rope or a string. Here's another one. I'm making like a box, like a box made of, of these. There's a lot of them. I'm making it bigger and stronger. And stronger and bigger. I'm going to have to pick up the camera and show you. All right. And because it's like a box, Because it's like a box, I need to make a way to go in and a way to go out. So I'm going to make a gate. So if something's on the inside, it will be able to come out. And if someone's on something's on the outside, it would be able to come in. All right. Let's see what else we've got of the story. I have these. They're sheep. I wonder 
how many there are. I wonder if there are more sheep than this. There are the sheep. All right, now I think we can start. Once there was someone who did such amazing things and said such amazing things that people followed him all around and they wanted to, to listen to everything they said even if they didn't understand it. And he kept talking about a kingdom but it wasn't like any kingdom they had ever seen before or even ever heard of before. And he kept telling them, trying to tell them about the kingdom. And one time he said, the kingdom of God is like a good shepherd. The good shepherd takes care of the sheep. He leads them out into the cool water. He leads them to the green grass and he even leads them through the dark places. He knows each of the sheep by name, and they know the sound of his voice. Now this is the ordinary shepherd. He does not know the sheep, and the sheep do not know him. So. When he doesn't look after the sheep, they scatter. And when the wolf comes, the ordinary shepherd runs away. But the good shepherd will lay down his life for the sheep and he will come between the sheep and the wolf. And the good shepherd leads the sheep back to the sheepfold. But if one is missing, he will go anywhere anywhere, anywhere, even into the dark places, and he will take the sheep safely home. And once all the sheep are safe, the Good Shepherd invites all of his friends and they celebrate the return of the lost sheep. Now, I wonder if these sheep have names. And I wonder if the sheep are happy in the sheepfold. Or are they happier outside in the green grass? I wonder if you have ever been close to the Good Shepherd. I wonder where you have found what you need. I wonder if you have ever gone to a place of danger.
And if you did, I wonder how you got out. I wonder if you have ever been lost. I wonder how it felt to be found if you were lost. I wonder where this whole place could really be. I wonder how many sheep there could really be. So we have the sheep. We have the still water. We have the dark places. And we have the sheepfold. And we always have the Good Shepherd. All right, I have one more thing to show you. Turn you up again so you can see. Hi. Um, so, my friend Kathleen made me this little book. Isn't it beautiful? I'm going to bring it up closer so you can see. Isn't that a beautiful book? It's like a star, it has lots of little pages. And this is the part of the book, the part of the story that you could write because each of us writes part of the story, part of the story that includes the Good Shepherd and Noah's Ark and Jonah and the Whale and the Christmas story and the Easter story. And then part of the story is for us to write. So think about what part of the story your life is. And I'll see you next time. Love you guys.